So it's uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I woke up and decided to try to do this again. I tried this a few weeks ago, and it did not work. I tried today, and it worked. So I don't know if you could see what's happening right now, but I've got the GoPro wirelessly streaming to my laptop wirelessly using uh, VLC. Um, and you can and, see... Uh, VLC. So, yeah. Um, it actually is streaming right now. VLC. So, yeah. Um, it actually is streaming right now. VLC. So, yeah, you can see that. There's a little delay. Kind of like how it is with the app on the tablet or the uh, smartphone app. But, um... It works pretty well. I'll show you how to do that in like a little bit. So, yeah, it's actually streaming. It's not a video. Uh, I don't know how to actually prove that to you though, but I'm sure that should. Yeah, there we go. So it's actually streaming. Uh, so let's get into how to get this set up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn the GoPro on and then turn Wi-Fi on by holding the uh, button on the side. When it blinks blue you know Wi-Fi is on and the little icon there pops up. You see that? Okay, so we'll just put that aside here. Don't need that for now. You should be able to see the GoPro Hero 3 Wi-Fi hotspot or ad hoc uh, network. So you'll notice you don't have internet access when you connect to it. Uh, I've got a command prompt open here to see what the IP address is that I've gotten. So I do a IP IP config. I'll just press up. It's quicker. IP config. Enter. Scroll up. There's a bunch of garbage here. And you'll see that my IP address on my laptop is 10.5.5.109 and the default gateway is 10.5.5.9. 10.5.5.9, that's the IP address of the GoPro. So let's see what happens if we go to a web browser and go to the address 10.5.5.9, the GoPro. Um, and we'll add port 8080. So look, it takes us to an umbrella web page on the GoPro. So I think that's the uh, the board or the chip that's on the uh, GoPro. I don't know much about it, but here we have a few different folders. We want to take a look at the live folder and. This file here, this thing, amba.m3u8. We'll click that. Got a bunch of settings here. So what we'll do is highlight this thing up here and copy it. So if you want to just look at that, it's 10.5.5.9 port 8080 slash live slash amba.m3u8. Now the next step is to open VLC, VLC player. Let's see what version I'm running. We'll go to help about, I'm running version 2.0.5 to flower. So we'll close that. Now we'll go to media and we'll do network stream this pops up. So I have that IP address that I copied. Well, I have that address that I copied before still saved in there. So that's all you need to do is add that address, click play, and look at that. You see half of my head in there. Hey, I just woke up. I have a nice hairdo right now. So you see that, and it's working. Let's add the audio. Oh look a disconnect. Haven't seen that yet. Let me press play again. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, it stopped. All right. Kind of funny. All right. Kind of funny. Still works. Right. Now we got that loop Still going. Works. So yeah, I don't know. I guess next thing I'll do is test the uh, what the distance is on this. But it's kind of cool if you don't have a smartphone or a tablet, you could just use your laptop. Or if you have a desktop with a Wi-Fi card built in. I don't know. Think of whatever you want to do. Well, hope you hope you found that uh, helpful. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks.